photo. Mm. <laughs> All right. Here you go. I had told the Russians all about this, and I said, it's going to get worse, man. They're going to be collapsing, and you're going to have more and more of them showing up. So this was back, like I say, August 2015, and I'm pointing to this, and I'm showing this and that, and then I relate it to the Mars crab. The Mars crab is classically an example of pareidolia in reference to there not actually being a goddamn crab on Mars. But the weird part is he seems to try to connect it to his blood vessel sinkhole analogy and I don't see the Mars crab as a sinkhole example. You see that right there? That's a blood vessel. These are blood vessel tubes coming out of the arterial blood vessel. This is the vein and, that, and now this is the tissue and I think I show this in here. I find it fun to try to decipher what I think he's trying to say because these guys never do a good job of explaining themselves. So let's look at this picture of a 3D printed blood vessel. Where exactly is he going for? Is it here where you have the initial break? Is he going further down the line to find more uh, tributaries, if you will, off the blood vessel? What exactly is this supposed to be a one-to-one -one correlation with a how we describe blood vessel? It's really hard to understand that and of course we have the issue of this one particular location has this blood vessel but nowhere else on the quote-unquote tissue questionable right this is these striations here that those are the layers of muscle and we, they're called um sarcomeres mud fossil university appears to be confusing sarcomeres with striations and while I can see the similarity they are in fact very different especially in size if you want to call those beds if you will sarcomeres then this thing is beyond massive the planet itself is this organism if you want to call these muscle striations okay but then we run into the same problem we always have wherein what exactly am I looking at? How did the muscle turn into rock, etc., etc., etc.? Things he can't explain, things he never explains. They have little breaks in them. You see these breaks? That's their little tiny sarcomere breaks, and that's what makes the muscles flex. You see them all these little breaks up here? That's what they are. Sarcomeres aren't breaks. Sarcomeres aren't things you see with your eyes. Sarcomeres are microscopic in level. <laughs> Again, we ha keep having this problem. Not only does Mudfoss University not understand the basics of geology, he also doesn't understand the biology that he's trying to commingle, intermix with the geology. Fail on top of fail on top of fail. Keep firing, assholes! You see this red blood here? Remember you see all that ferrous oxide running down? It's the same thing. That's where it runs out of, in between all of these layers of, of muscle tissue. That's one of those crabs. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's one of the blood feeders that feeds that big red stripe right there, which is arterial blood. You see it? It's right there. What the fuck am I looking at again? Did you see it? It's right there. There's no red in this image. There's no blood in this image. There's no blood turning into rock anywhere there's no spider there's no blood vessel there's no sinkhole in this rock this isn't an old muscle this isn't sarcomeres these things are all incorrect you're looking at a rock it's got some holes in it but to jump from a rock with a hole in it to obviously the decayed fossilized somehow remains of some ripped aliens chest muscle at a microscopic level is that's a big leap you can need a bit more than that fucking poking of the goddamn feather i hate that thing see this is why they thought i was a nutcase and there was much rejoicing because i but it's true this is all true and tyson's stuff shows it i, I think i've either shown you or the Tyson he's referring to here is Tyson's Mud Fossil Adventures, and I've done a couple response videos to him already on this channel, but to refresh your memory if you've been following me for a while, he's the guy that walks on the beach and says, oh look, that rock, that's a ball, and that's a ball, 
and that's a ball. And he's not referring to the geometric shape. Already, or I will show you the membrane, which is, is, is so, so gigantic that you could swim through it. And it only allows in us protein molecules to go through it. So the, the scale of the dimension is just so unbelievable. So you can keep the reference straight. Protein molecules, like what exists in our body, go up to and maybe exceed 10 nanometers at most. So keep that in mind. And then the dragon and the fish in Morocco and the dragon over there, it's, it's in the Atlas Mountains. It's just unbelievable. But it's, it is true and it's got to be dealt with. And nothing is going to change that reality. I've also talked extensively about his stupid fucking Atlas Dragon and his random fish in Morocco and Atlantis and all that crap he talks about. Again, check out my previous videos on it. I got a playlist just for this douchebag. But the important part of that sentence and a very common thread throughout all of his videos is the amount of hubris he has and just this bombast of I know what's going on and I need to tell everyone because only I get it. I mean. He just jerks himself off at every video so much. I'm surprised you don't hear fapping in the background. Dude, oh, that's disgusting! You ruined my day! I'm telling the boss! I'm going to show you these. This is exactly the same thing. Here's what happened here. You see this is blown out? These are the ones I talked to the Russians about. This is exactly the ones. The exact one, actually. Bullshit! <coughs> now, these balls right here that stuff coming out and i'm going to show you in the microscope they have that that's what takes in the oxygen and respirates through these little passages you know those balls in your body that take in oxygen and respirate of course everyone knows exactly what you're talking about that just makes no fucking sense i mean it's just bullshit this little rock you have in your hand is just some body balls that respirate oxygen just like this sinkhole in russia that you of course helped your buddies out figuring out what's really going on here when they had sucked out so much fluids out of the, the peninsula there you have a pocket in there now the pocket grows that methane gas and then eventually it blew out that's a blowout that didn't sink in here that blew out of there Conspiracy theorists love to say random stuff but never back up their claims. I don't know this particular example, so I can't look it up to find evidence of sinkhole or explosion. That being said, the things that explode due to pressure buildup are volcanoes. So I assume he's trying to make the argument this is a volcano, but then where's the evidence of the rest of the volcano, right? This isn't a cinder cone, this isn't a stratovolcano, this is just some random hole that apparently exploded. That's not really how that stuff works. It looks a lot like a sinkhole, and they call them sinkholes because they sink. However, I can't verify this stuff because he never provides any sources. That's like this thing here had a fabric on top, and it normally had everything was filled up to the top of that fabric, and the fabrics more or less floated on it. And there was always pressure coming up enough, but there was, there was, there was fluids under there. Now, you took all the fluids out, now this thing it starts to sag a little bit. Are you seeing the problem building up here? He wants to connect every single hole in every rock he finds with this idea of pressures and fluids, as if when this supposed creature died, all its fluids stayed in the flesh while the flesh itself solidified, and it just was concentrating there the entire time. That's a big step that I'm going to need more than just a finger poke or a feather touch to your screen to verify. And, but pressure's building up under there. So now it gets flexible. The pressure builds up. They say they get to be like 12 or 15 feet high and then they explode. And I, it's obviously, they're gonna, the, the warmer it gets, the bigger the molecules get. That is electron flood theory. And now we diverge to our 15th tangent of this video. Every Mud Fossil University video is just him going over his greatest hits again, providing no new information. Electron flood theory, I do plan on going at it at some point, but I got a lot of stuff to attack first. You can go to his channel, which I link below if you want to learn more about his stupid ass theory, or continue watching my videos, 
which are much more entertaining, let's be honest. And that I have shown in a bazillion other ways, too. We have to start thinking everything different now. And I mean everything. I'm not kidding you. Every single thing. Everything. Because atomic theory is shown to be wrong. Ah! Geology is 100% wrong. Whoa! Space is nothing like they thought. It's loaded with particles. Ah! Which scrub against our atmosphere, causing our magnetosphere and our ionosphere and all the magnetic things that happen in our, our atmosphere. It's loading our Earth with extra electrons as we scrub through all of those extra particles that are in space, shown it a million times. There are dozens of us. Dozens! I have evidence. I believe I have enough evidence to support everything I'm showing. <laughs> And everything I'm showing relates to one big gigantic theory of nothing's right. 